What's up, Leo gang? And for 777 here today with your general love reading. It's going to be timeless. And it is for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Holy angels and spirit guides giving clear, concise messages for my Leo gang. Give us exactly what we need to know for my Leo gang, Holy Spirit and Angel guides. Okay? Let's say that it is general, guys. Okay, so take what resonates, leave the rest. You know how it goes. Cross watchers, put yourself where you belong in the story. And we're going to jump right in. If you're interested in a personal read, there's information linked down below to get that done. And let's jump right in, okay? There's no need. Without further ado, let's get to the shits because I just feel it intuitively, guys. Okay, I felt it in the meditations. I don't know who you're dealing with, but energies are running high. Um, did you go somebody, Leo? <laughs> Are you just not talking to them? Did you switch it up? Did you change the game? Because somebody is like really persistent on getting in contact with you. I don't know what it is. All right, so give it to us, spirit. Give this energy to us. Apologies, yeah. Oh, oh, they fucked up, didn't they, Leo? Why do people do this? I don't understand. Hmm? Why? Because if they ever dealt with a Leo before, then they would know. Once you cross, once you cross that line, there is no coming back nine times out of ten. Okay, I mean, don't know a whole lot of Leos that do backsies. You know what I'm saying? That do second chances. You know, let alone the first chance. Wasn't it difficult for you to get in anyway, ma'am, sir, Brussels? Was it difficult for you to get in initially? So why would you fuck it up? I just don't understand. And now you want to You want to listening ears what they want, Leo? I kept hearing it. I told you. They're very persistent as well. See, they feel like this is fate. Okay, so whatever it is that you've done, <laughs> however it is that you have disappeared out of this person's life for some of you, okay, or whatever this is that you have done, switching up your energy, now has them in the mindset of, oh, this is my soulmate. This is why I feel like this. This is what, but no, you just never dealt with a Leo before. <laughs> have you? Have you? Have you? And now that ass is trapped. Um, energetically you did this to yourself i feel like you did warn them though leo i feel like you i feel like you warned them you did they want to apologize so they definitely there was some sort of betrayal here okay um an apology okay i hope there is some accountability being taken in those apologies wow this person is disrespectful they like shut up girl and just read these cards <laughs> i'm just saying there better be some accountability. Otherwise, I mean, there's just no point. There's no point in trying to get in contact with Leo again, okay? Friendship, see? They want to take you, at, they will take it at any capacity, any capacity that you will have them in your life. They're like, oh, we could just be friends. You know what I'm saying? We, and you're like, yeah, but my friends don't cross me. I don't deal with toxic ass friends either. That's what you fucked up at. See, you try something new, and this is what you are on. So you may have, this may be somebody who was your type, Leo, okay? Don't lie. This could have been somebody who really did it for you, okay? Um, there was something about them um, or something about their personality or something about the way they made you feel. It's something familiar. Um, but you're wanting to go towards something completely and totally different. You wanted to go towards energies that are different. You may feel like the same people are showing up in your life, right? Same person, um, different face type of energy. So we'll definitely look in the extended to see what blockages um, you can remove in order to not be calling in the same people. You know what I'm saying? To vibrate at a higher frequency so that you're not attracting toxicity or just the same characters over and over. Maybe there was a lesson that needed to be learned as well, right? So that's what the universe does. You know what I'm saying? They be effing with us sometimes. When they're trying to teach you something, if you don't learn the lesson in one relationship, they send you the same person. They're like, when are you going to learn this? You know what I'm saying? See, so let them feel your worth. Okay, so this is about self worth, guys. I don't feel like you don't. I don't feel like you lack self worth. You don't, but you may have given too many people a chance. There are some people who got beyond your. They got beyond the gates. Okay, into your throne. Okay, they they were able to have a seat at your royal table, and they definitely were unqualified, guys. Okay, they were not qualified. These are unqualified individuals. Um, peasantry, if you will. But they didn't really show these true colors of being someone who um, lacked the qualifications to be in your life until later on in the relationship. And now they're trying to come in and at least have a friendship. And it's like, you were never supposed to have access to begin with. You do know that, right? So why did you mess this up? You know, like, why did you do that? Wow. Can we at least have a friendship? I feel like that is something that they're trying to... Um, 
that may be a little bit of a manipulation to at least regain access. They feel like you're their soulmate now, Leo, okay? They're stuck. I don't know what you're doing. I don't know what you did, okay? Maybe it's in that bedroom. Yeah, you're going to make people work for you. It, it, is, it is what it is, okay? I feel like you're tired of giving the underdog a chance. It's like I only want top shelf from now on. Don't give me them ten bottle, uh, cheap-ass whiskey shots. I don't want that shit. You know what I'm saying? I want top shelf and top shelf only. And I feel as though you were just being kind, you know? I gave you a chance. Out of charity my girl my guy bruh sis ma'am sir like this was this was a charity move you know what i'm saying and you just kind of shat on me like this it really is unbelievable and it's also quite delusional delusional of them to think that they would be able to come in and, and apologize um i suggest they just send you a letter just send leo a letter and leave leo the fuck alone because what you're gonna do is get cursed out i don't think that you want that <laughs> why do people test your gangster like this i don't understand I don't understand. They take your kindness for weakness. You know what I'm saying? Um, you just be chilling, right? In the jungle, you know, you just be chilling. You got your little, your own little habitat and people come and cross that boundary and they think you're sleeping. They do. They do. And what do they do? They're poking the line. They're poking, they're poking, they're poking. And then when you bite their fucking head off, then they want to call the police. You know what I'm saying? Then they want to cry. Oh, Leo's insane. Leo is crazy. But do you want to talk about your actions though? How do we get here? How do we get here? Wow. So let's see how this person is feeling about things now. See, they want reconciliation, guys, okay? Now is what it says. Can't make it up. It says reconciliation, spiritual union, soul contract. You can't make that up, right? This person definitely thinks now because of how things have transpired because of um you shock them in a sense leo with your behavior okay you being able to release them so easily um maybe they didn't really well this person pop possibly is blinded to the realities of life right didn't i say that they're like a bit irrational um i don't think that you were wearing a mask or anything like that but i mean what kind of stupidity has to be lying dormant within them to think that they could have gotten away with some of the things that they were trying to get away with Lee. I don't understand. I don't. Um, you, however, whatever it is that you've done here has them now thinking that you guys are soulmates. It says soul contract, spiritual union. This may actually send this person into a spiritual awakening. Um, for those of you who will not talk to this person again, it's going to take them a long time. Wow. They're going to be beating themselves up for a long time. So what happens is when people fuck you over, you know what I'm saying? It's not that they want to come in and take accountability, like I said, okay? Ma'am, sir, breast this. Don't be throwing my cards all over the place because I got your number. So does Leo. Leo has your fucking number too. That's why you can't, that's why you can't contact them. That's why you can't get in touch with them. When people F you over, they think that they are entitled to a conversation to apologize to make themselves feel better you know what i'm saying it really has nothing to do with taking accountability or trying to see if you're okay if you are okay with things you know what i'm saying um they don't energy check to see if it's okay for them to contact you and see if you're in a space where you can where you're open for conversation no it's selfish energy it's somebody who wants to get out of their own anxiety filled thoughts their own negative thinking their own negative self-talk but it's like you created this mess Sit your ass right there, okay? Sit in the shit that you made, please. This is what they're currently feeling, guys, about things. They want to reconcile. They feel like you're their soulmate. They, they, it's being, their heartstrings are being tugged at. This could definitely be a lesson for this person. And they're very impatient, guys, okay? They want it today, like right now, like in the moment. They could be texting you like crazy. Even if you block them, they are texting you like crazy, okay? Long dissertations. These ain't just one, two word texts because you, you won't talk to them. So they have to say everything that they need to say in a text. So now you're getting essays, paragraphs, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Wow. All right, so how do they feel you affect things? Well, I don't think we need to know that anymore, do we? How do they think you're currently affecting the sea? Love, right? So you gave them that real pure Leo love. I mean, it is not like no other. It's not, it's like no other guys. Okay. You shielded them from something energetically. Okay. You see how they're under this umbrella. And now we do have someone playing a little bit of the victim. It's not, I have to say that. Okay. They feel like you pushed them out into the rain after having 
covered them and secured them under this umbrella. Now they feel like they're out in the cold, getting soaking wet, right? Getting sick, sneezing, sniffling, you know, it's the victim now. You know, how could you, you know, just let me go like this? How could you, you know, like it, it says adore, admire, enchantment. And I feel like you gave all of those feels to this person. It's something that they'd never felt before, guys. And it's something that they never thought would be gone, actually. And that's the part, you know. <laughs> it's the delusion for me. Why would you think that it was going to be forever if you weren't doing the work? If you weren't putting in the effort, if you weren't, you say you want a friendship, but friends don't even behave that way. Some of the best relationships start out of friendship. You know what I'm saying? Um, it start out as it starts out as friendship, and that mutual respect it, it leads into the union, and it can create something truly beautiful. But you weren't doing that, so why would Leo want to create a friendship with you now, please? Oh, please, the stupidity, the stupidity, please, 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 I can't, I can't. So what habits do they need to release? Well, I mean, I think they need to wake the fuck up. What do you think? <laughs> what do you think, Leo? You know what I'm saying? They need to wake up. See? Yeah, this person, Leo, I don't know who this is. Who are y'all dealing with? Who the fuck is this? Why would they ever think this was possible? It says bounty hunter, okay? These are dogs out on the lookout. So for those of you, if this person disconnected from you, if they ghosted you, if they stopped talking to you, if they just energetically were pulling away from you, it was a manipulation tactic to see if you would chase them. Oh, stupid one. Oh, thou without a brain. Why the fuck would you think that? A Leo? Chase you. <laughs> okay. Oh, okay. Okay, 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 okay. All right. No, and for some of you, like I said, they were poking you and then they did get a chase, but it was one that they did not want. You see what I'm saying, right? And then all of a sudden, you're crazy. Wow, this person is really, they take, they're throwing me for a doozy. They're throwing me for a doozy, Leo. I don't know why they would have ever thought that you would have chased them. Well, who is this? Let them feel your worth. And that's the type of shit that you're on now, right? You're looking, you're trying something new. You're looking to go towards new. Like you want something totally different. You don't want anybody who even resembles somebody that you dealt with in the past. Fuck out of here. See roller coaster. And this is why they're back guys. Okay. Their emotions are literally on a roller coaster. It's like, no, I'm going to wait for Leo to contact me. No, let me text them. No, I'm going to wait for them to come to me. And, I'll, and then maybe I'll say, sorry. Okay. Let me just call them now. Let me just text them now. Let me just, you know. It's, it's, it's crazy making guys. It's fucking, it's fucking crazy. Okay. And I felt like, I feel like you felt all of these ups and downs in the actual relationship. This is that push, pull, hot, cold type of energy. No consistency whatsoever. You can never really put your foot up in this relationship and let it coast. Like let your hair down. You know what I'm saying? That's where you're trying to go. You want a relationship where you could let your hair down. You know what I'm saying? Sit back while they let the top back type shit. And I'm, I'm with it. Like I'm totally here for that. I feel like you really deserve it. Um, let's go on over to the extended. Okay. We're going to wrap this up in a little bit. Let's see what their next steps are going to be their intentions for you and the best possible outcome. And then we are going to dig into new love. Cause I feel like that's, that's it for you. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's the new, new for you. It's the new energy for you. That's what you're going to be focused on. So we're going to see who's coming in. Is this worth your time? We could just end this shit before it begins. I mean, I got your back. Okay. We're also going to see, will it lead to union or marriage or love um, or like a committed relationship? I want to see what blockages you can release to be um, vibrating at your highest frequency, guys. Okay. That's going to be, that's going to enable you to be invisible to toxicity. It's going to keep the same people from coming in. You know what I'm saying? I felt that in your energy, same motherfuckers, different face. And then we're going to look at your finances. Okay. Well, let's see what's coming in and how you can prepare to be most successful, leading you to financial freedom. All right, so click that like button, click the subscribe button, and I'll see you over at the extended. It'll be linked down below in the description box.